Sheesh, I feel like I haven't been thrifting in a minute. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Ben, aka Ready Site Resell. In the last few days, I've been cooped up a lot because of all the snow going on. So I'm ready to get out to some thrift stores, find some stuff to flip online for a profit. Just pulled up to our first store, Salvation Army. Let's see what we get. Check it out here, just had the first score of the store. It's a day to remember if it means a lot to you. Band t-shirt, I've been picking up a lot of band tees lately just for the auction coming up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and snag that at five bucks, not bad. Check out what I just spotted over here in the electronics. Got a calculator and it is a TI-89 calculator. These are easy, easy sales, been paying five bucks for it. And these ones go for around 30. Here's an interesting little score right here. We got a pair of Levi's jeans now. What makes this pair special though, is if we look on the tab, you can see it says Levi's, but there is a big E instead of a little E, and that is what you wanna look for. Now, on vintage pairs, we're talking thousands and thousands of dollars is what it's worth. This pair though is a newer pair, unfortunately, but still, even the new pairs with the big E go between 30 and 40 bucks. So, we're snagging $6. Hey buddy, <laughs> hey. How are you sir? Not bad, how are you? For those of you guys who don't know, this is my buddy since he flipper, Adam. How's he going? is one of my good friends. Hey, wanna say hi to the camera? No, <laughs> okay. My employee. My employee. <laughs> guys, check out what my buddy Adam just pulled up. Look at these, the starter Chicago Bulls jersey. It's on a printed tag, but that's pretty sick. And they are reversible on the inside of there. On top of that, the Michigan one in the same style, again, reversible. That is a dirty, dirty find. How much are they? Four bucks a piece. Four bucks. Damn. Comes out probably about 60 to 80 on the Michigan. And on the Bulls, looked anywhere from 90 to 120 Woo. on that guy. So That's I don't sick, do a man. I don't clothes, but this is exactly what I do when I find it. That's awesome. And speaking of jerseys, we just got our own little pool. Definitely not as good as Adam's, but it's still a Nike center check Red Sox. If you ever see that Nike center check it, they're on fire right now. People want that. This one is just a basic jersey, nothing on the back. You're gonna be paying $4.99. Should go for around 20 to 25. Yo, check it out. Over here, got something I normally would have walked right past. It's just like a woman's wool jacket. The brand is The Weekend or Weekends by Mara and Max. It's gonna be $7.99. And normally I would pass this up, but I saw the brand new with tags sticking out. But look at that MSRP right there, $750 originally. Marked down 30% to $525. You'll be paying $7.99 on it. But I don't know the value of this brand. Not something I normally would do. But at that price, at those MSRPs, I think it's safe to say that's probably gonna be a good pickup. So I'm snagging that for sure. All right, and with that, we are wrapping up stop number one at the Salvation Army. Not a bad little haul right there. Okay, so in total, I ended up spending 25, 28 at that store right there and got some pretty dang good items. I'm, I'm curious to see what that jacket's gonna end up going for. That's probably my best score of the store, but unfortunately, I think my finds got eclipsed by what Adam found. Those two jerseys were just absolutely insane. Congrats to him. He picked the right aisle to go down first and he came up big. And sometimes that's just how it goes. People are gonna get to stuff before you. I'm super happy for him scoring on that stuff but hopefully we are going to score as well at the next store. I think I'm gonna make a trip over to the Goodwill. And here we are, the Goodwill. Let's hope it's just as good as the last store. And just like that, right back out of the store. Unfortunately, right when I walked in, they said they were having issues with their credit card machine and it was cash only today and I don't have cash on me because I only brought my card. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave this one empty handed and find a new store to go to. So uh, let's do that, I guess. Let's find a new store. <laughs> All right, I decided to come down and go to a store that I haven't showcased on my channel in quite a while because I'm not really a fan of them, and that is the bin stores. Again, not really a fan, but see what we do. Check it out, the first find of the bins here. We got a Woolrich vintage down jacket. It is a little bit dirty, but that should come off really, really easy. And on the interior, it is lined. It has the extra liner in it, which is really, really nice. These vintage Woolrich pieces can go for like 70, 80 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag that. 
All right, here we got some local heat. Look at that, the Cincinnati Bengals going to the Super Bowl, baby. Sleeve has some graphics on it. It's a size large. That'll make a nice little bread and butter piece for the auction. Yo, check this little guy out right here. The classic Mickey on a chalk line tag in there. And then on the back, the giant Mickey Mouse. It's a little kid's toddler jacket, but that's still a really, really cool vintage piece. It's a little dirty, but we're gonna grab it because this stuff is in right now. Yeah. This is a big reason I hate the bins. So much junk to dig through, like just so much of it. It's little things no one's ever gonna buy. And I hate digging through this kind of stuff. I go and say that, then find a remote I'm actually picking up. This is a RM-U561 is the model number on this remote. It's a Sony. And this one looks like comping out around 25 bucks. So I'm grabbing it. Check that out. Not, not the creepy Mickey. The John Fluval bag. It's like a reusable tote bag. Looks like it might be legit. I've never seen this before, like a reusable bag from them. But that's a high-end brand, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my cart. Another little find over here in the hard goods got a symbol scanner. Some of these can go for some good money. Some of them are only worth like 10 bucks, but I think this model goes for around 40. I looked it up a little bit and comps look decent. There's a cool little snag right there. Look at that Vincent Van Gogh painting shirt. It's on a Philadelphia Museum of Art tag. And then on the back, it says Vincent Philadelphia Museum of Art. I always like finding these art t-shirts because a lot of them, once they're discontinued, people still want them. So that's coming home. Well, that was short-lived. They said they aren't bringing out any more carts, so we're going to check out with this stuff. Well, that was a short-lived trip right there. It shows how often I go there. I didn't even know what time this store closed, but they did bring out one row of bins by the time I got in there. Otherwise, all the inventory had been picked through. I ended up spending $3.50, so not bad for the stuff I got, but I just didn't get to stay in there very long. And I know I'm going to get questions as to why I don't go to the bins often, and it's just, it's just not my thing. I don't like digging through all of the junk to find, you know, one or two good pieces. I would rather go into a store that's really organized where I can scan stuff super fast. The bins just takes longer. And if, from my experience, the quality of stuff is lesser than the stuff that I find at the main thrift stores because most of the stuff that goes in our bins has already been out on the floor in the main stores before it gets put into that store. Now, I'm not saying you can't find good stuff in there. There are plenty of people who have scored grails at these stores before. And I found quite a few good things at these stores before when I've stopped in but from my experience in general I do better at the normal thrift store so I would rather spend my time over there and on top of that the crowd that goes to these stores tend to be like more aggressive you kind of have to get in there when they're pulling out the new carts and kind of you know fight for your stuff against other people you know you have to be sorting through really quickly while there's two other people right shoulder to shoulder with you you're, you're battling for goods and it's just not my style but I don't know maybe I am missing out on some very good opportunity and I just need to get out of my comfort zone a little bit if you'd like to see me I do a dedicated video at the bin store let me know down in the comments i would love to hear your opinions i know a lot of you guys like to shop at these stores so let me know if you'd like to see me do like a full day up here at one of these bins because it's something that i might do and speaking of the main store i would like to run in there right now but we're getting close to my climbing time so i need to get over to the climbing gym However, I do have some footage from the day before this big snowstorm blew through that I haven't shown you guys yet. So I will play that video right now to round things out. Uh, all right, changing plans yet again. My girlfriend had a dentist appointment and didn't want to deal with driving and parking in the snow. So I took her up there and decided, hey, while she's in there and I'm waiting for her, let's stop at another Goodwill instead, because why not? Yo, check these out right here. These are Vineyard Vines Harmon Pant. Vineyard Vines is an okay brand to sell, but look at those, the red and green colorway. Those are just crazy enough to maybe have some value behind them. Sometimes these funky things like this are hidden values. They're hidden gems when paying six bucks. I think that's worth putting in the cart for now. Looky there, right on the end, a Masters Tech Polo. It's getting ready to be golf season once the spring gets here, and this kind of stuff sells extremely, extremely well. If you don't know that, learn it. You always want to look out for this yellow logo. During the springtime when golf season starts up, this stuff sells really, really hot, usually around 30, uh, 25 to 30 bucks. Check it out. Here's a brand I've never dealt with before or even heard of before. It's called Jane Barnes. If you can see that tag right there. And all their shirts are kind of in this funky colorway. And there's this one, this one right here, 
and then this purple one which is really funky so i decided to look them up and they look like they're doing pretty decent between 20 and 25 bucks so i'm going to go ahead and take the chance at six and test out a new brand on these because that's how you learn Well, hello there, Madewell. Madewell's a great brand to look for. That's like a woman's corduroy jacket. All the buttons are there. Not bad, how much? $7.99. Go ahead and snag that, it's probably at least 30. And then check it out right over here. We got some seven for all mankind, women's jeans, brand new with the tags right there. Normally I only look for the dojo jeans when it comes to seven for all mankind because they usually sell for some good money, but these are brand new with tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and swoop these ones on up. Yo, check out that piece right there. That's a pretty cool one. Fish, the big logo on the front. This stuff always sells very well. It's a newer one on an organic royal apparel tag, but that is an awesome band t-shirt to look out for. Their branding is just so cool. I love that. Then check it out just a little bit further down from that. Another cool one. This is a newer shirt. It's on the printed tag, but it's a Johnny Cash American Rebel shirt. That's a pretty cool one. That's going to come home for sure with us too look at that piece right there that's another really really cool one alien alien hoodie it says alien down the sleeve right there it's on the 20th century fox tag that's a nice little vintage hoodie right there we'll take it there's a cool little crew neck right there look at that chicago bulls crew neck sweatshirt how much is it 550 today it's got a nice big graphic on the front hanes hardwood classics that's probably going to be a snag all right that ended up being a pretty good stop there got a whole garbage bag full of stuff what a way to end off this video i hope that you guys all enjoyed this one and if you did enjoy it please let me know by going down low smashing that like button for me and subscribing to my channel for more content just like this otherwise i will see you in the next one till next time keep on treasure hunting peace